Yo yo yo, and welcome to another entry into the modelling section of this tutorial series. And today I'm going to be talking about packing. Uh, we're not going anywhere. I just wanted to show you what packing is, how to use it, and um, go between these two states. Uh, so what is packing? Now packing is essentially us taking complex geometry that is connected and turning it into a single point that then we can run point level operations on. Like we can randomize the color properly on a bunch of objects. So you might have come across this if you did like a copy to points. So if let's just do have a sphere as we almost always do. And we'll do um, copy to points. Um, I just wanted to do, I did this the wrong way just to show you something. You can do shift R to change the order of the inputs. If you didn't know, now you know. So now we've got all our points copied and say we've got a sphere that is a, a polygon, polygon sphere with a bunch of points that is then edited to, you know, be noisy for whatever reason. And now what I want to do is I want to randomize the color of this. So I'm going to set it to primitive, but nothing. This is what you get, because each one of these is a primitive. I'm in, I clicked S there to get our select tool, and I'm in the select, I'm in the primitive selection. These are all primitives, and that's what we're randomizing. Obviously, what I could do is I could put this up here. We could do that, but what if I actually wanted to, or I didn't have the option to do that, or I wanted to, you know, edit these later down the line, or whatever the whatever the case is. We have this ugly mess. And the way we fix this is by turning these all into individual points that are then represented by geometry. So we can use the assemble node, which is the packing node that I normally use. There is a, an actual pack node as well, but it doesn't work quite as well because it won't create um, names for these values and it's packing everything into one. What I want is I want these connected pieces of geometry to be treated as single objects here. So we're turning, if I middle click up here, we're turning 98,000 primitives into 100. That's essentially what we're doing. And if I zoom into these with the point on, where is it? There we go, We've got a point there. So that's what's representing this now as a point. And if I put down here, and a CD randomize on primitives. I know I didn't say, I know I said I wasn't going to use attribute randomize anymore, but it's just too easy. It's too easy. Um, there, the VEX tutorial is there, guys. You can use it. But later in line, it will be a lot more, it will be more useful. That's what I'm trying to say. So I can do that. I can do at randomize again. I can do P on the, the points here. Uh, do add. And there we go, we've got our little blobs all randomly dispersed. And these are treated like points. But now you might be like, Ewan, I want to edit these beautiful polygons here. I don't want it to be uniform all the way across and just have the same sphere. And we just unpack it. And then what we have is we have our geometry back, but we don't have our color. And that's because we need to transfer these attributes, which we do by doing that there. You can take individual attributes like this by clicking or typing CD, but I want everything, so I'm doing dollar or uh, asterisk. Sorry, <laughs> what's gotten into me? Um, and then I can put down a mountain and edit it. There we go. That's essentially what packing is, and hopefully you'll be able to see the use of this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you've got any questions about packing and all that, put them in the comments. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.